Hey there, besties. Thank you for stopping by. I am Michonne Denise. And if you have not heard, it looks like Tiffany Cross has been let go, not renewed of a contract and or fired from MSNBC. It says that she has been fired after her offensive comments on Florida, but there have also been comments that she's been making. Clearly we know of one set of comments, but Comments that she's been making specifically about race, of course, you know, white supremacy, racism, discrimination over and over and over and over again. Tucker Carlson recently brought some information to light on his views about how Tiffany has been basically starting a potential impossible RACE war. Now, do I take Tucker Carlson seriously? I don't. So, He had done this about two weeks ago, I believe, during... That should worry you deeply. You don't want to live in Rwanda. But on MSNBC, they're already there. Now, you probably knew about Joy Reid, the race lady, fixated on race hate for years now. But MSNBC has a new host, someone called Tiffany Cross, who hosts a show called The Cross Connection. Here's a selection. Many of us have seen the dangers when powerful white people decide they want something, they annex it. And they've never had a problem replacing the people who stand in their way. You see American white people are are going crazy. They're going, they're resorting to violence. This is literally what conservative white folks do when they don't get their way. They turn violent. White people deputizing themselves in some position of authority to have jurisdiction over their life when they need to mind their blinking business. I don't think it's our responsibility to be tasked with destroying and dismantling the uh, racial oppression that's against us. That's just saying we're more at fault than the white people who constructed this system and the white people who continue to practice institutional racism. A majority of white people do not support policies that would unpack and unroll and reform this system of justice. He's got a big old uh, compilation of the different guests and the various times that they're bringing up race. How many times do I say it all the time? You use the daggone race card all the time. It gets watered down, but I am not sure the context of all of these uh, compilations that he has here. Okay. So we only know he just put some stuff together and I understand that it's politics. I understand that they're trying to uh, get their side out against the other side. And the same thing with the conservatives, Republicans to the other side, when it comes to the liberals as Democrats, right? But I've already said it 10, 55 million times. Everything cannot be racism. And to be out here calling out white conservatives, white people, white, 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 enough of the time. It seems that when black people are trying to get their points across and get, you know, people riled up, I would say, uh, motivated, maybe whatever the word that they would use, they want to talk about white supremacy, racism, discrimination, white supremacy, racism, discrimination. What I want to know is, and and we've been talking about this lightly, but why is it that everything has to be that in every effing discussion? Where are the solutions? What is being done to combat that, especially if you think that that's what it is? Do you think that just saying white supremacy, discrimination, institutionalized racism, and all these other things, just continuing to just talk about it over and over and over again? It's the same way... um, Uh, women be using these excuses that it's their fault. It's their fault. It's their fault. What are we going to do to combat that? Where are the solutions is what I want to know. Instead of always saying that it's this reason because of this, because of that, just like when she said to black men to stop uh, listening to Kevin Samuels, to Rick Nasheed and get on board with black women. Like that's so disgusting. And how long at MSNBC did black Tiffany Cross think that she was going to continue to talk negatively about white people and think that the white people that she works for was going to accept it, accept it. And then to continue to talk about all these other people in that way, like every situation has to be racism. Every situation is racism. And then you get the same people to come on to say the same things. So all it is is race talk, which is what left liberal democratic people use to get black people all upset and excited to get them to do what it is that they need to be done so that they are scared, 
feared, mad, all those emotions that are associated with black people to get them to do what they want. I don't understand why we continue to do this and play into these silly roles. Again, this is just my opinion, which is why I don't even watch any of this crap anymore. If you sit around and you only listen to who it is and what it is that serves you, you're never going to get an objective opinion. This goes along with relationships by you listening, ladies, females, women's, only to people, your besties, your girl, your mama, that's going to give you an opinion that's only the one that you want. Oh, he was wrong. You was right, girl. He was wrong. You was right. That gets you nowhere. You need to listen to someone that's more objective, that at least has no stake in the game, no relationship to you. And that's where a therapist, a psychiatrist, a psychologist, and all those type of things come into place to try to get you to see that maybe you got something that you need to work on in order to get the daggone results that you want. But that's a whole nother story. So this is what they want. Matt Gates is giving the white folks what they want. White replacement can strangle culture. So yeah. Now what if somebody came, what if Tucker came out and said black replacement? Maybe not. Whatever, whatever the opposite is of it, right? White people, be careful. The black people is taking over. I don't know. Something. But they just out here spouting and spatting so much so that it is just tiresome. It's like you really don't have a damn argument except everything is white supremacy, racism, discrimination. And you already know I'm tired of it. MSNBC has cut ties with weekend host Tiffany Cross one day after she called the D call Florida the D of the country. Seriously. Seriously. Mm, mm, mm. The network has decided not to renew Cross's contract after two years and fired her effective immediately per variety. The production staff on her show, The Cross Connection, will remain at the network in different roles. So they they kept the supporting staff. So shout out to MSNBC for that. Sources told Variety Cross's relationship with the network was becoming frayed and that executives, you know, those white people at the top, were worried about her willingness to address statements made by cable news hosts on other networks and her commentary that did not meet the standards of MSNBC or NBC News. So in other words, actually, it sounds like MSNBC is scared of Fox. That's what it sounds like. It says... Executives were worried about her willingness to address statements made by cable news hosts on other networks and her commentary that did not meet the standards of MSNBC or NBC. So Tucker can go ahead and do a whole, uh, I'll call it a piece on Tiffany Cross and accurate with some of the things that he was saying, but she's not allowed to strike back. The last straw may have been comments Cross made as a guest on Charlemagne the God's Hell of a Week show on Thursday, sources told Newsweek. Cross and other panelists were asked which swing states Democrats could afford to lose in the midterms. Cross named Florida, saying that it literally looks like the D of the country. Ron is stupid. Ron DeSantis, whatever you want to call Florida man, he is so problematic. He traffics in stupidity and ignorance. And I just think they are a problem for the rest of the country. Let's get them out. Uh, her comment there was mad aggressive. So the, so they were talking about politics and what it is that Democrats need, need to do. I'm pretty sure that she has some sort of stipulations when she's out here specifically talking about politics. Cause that's her thing. Cross has previously come under fire for other controversial statements, including when she suggested progressives should pick up a weapon and get involved in the war of survival of the country, though she appeared to be speaking metaphorically. Mm, mm, mm. If the Democrats and liberals were interested in getting any type of people on their side, you would think that they would want to work with progressives. Does anyone know how to work together? Does anyone know how to compromise? Does anybody know anything other than what they want and nothing more? Child, listen, I'm sure that Tiffany will be able to get a job some daggone where. Stop using every situation to say is one of those three things when it is not. It waters it down. And then when it really needs to be brought to light and used, 
people ain't don't even care anymore because it's just lumped in with everything else saying there they go again, there they go again. But that's just my two cents. Y'all let me know what you think. That's it. That's all. If you made it this far, I do appreciate you. Please consider subscribing. I will see you all in the next one.